In this whole series, we are going to be learning JavaScript. And the reason is simple, because JavaScript rocks. It's arguably the most popular language around today. And it's running in pretty much every web browser. So if you're using your iPhone to view a website, or your iPad, or your Android, or Chrome, or a super old version of Internet Explorer, it's pretty much going to be running JavaScript and what it does. And JavaScript basically adds function to your website, to your HTML and CSS. So say I want to keep track of how many times this button has been clicked. Two times. Three times. Four times. That's JavaScript. Or say I want to click this and it shows some super secret hidden content. That's also JavaScript. Or say I'm working on a form and I wanted to do something. My name is Will. Hey, Will's a great name. Well, thank you. This computer's brilliant. That's all JavaScript. So we're going to get into kind of the basics of JavaScript. And the good news is, is JavaScript is a programming language. So once you learn it, you've actually learned some computer programming. So before we add it to our actual web page, let's kind of start off with some programming basics in JavaScript. What I want you to do is get Google Chrome, download it, install it. If you're going to be a web developer, it's a really good browser to use and go view developer JavaScript console. The shortcut key for this on Mac is command option J or on Windows it's control shift J. And that's going to bring up your console here and what the console does is it allows me to code directly into my web page. Now none of this gets saved onto my web page it's just kind of happening real time and it's the best way to learn and to play around with code. So you can see I can type 1 here and it says 1. I can type 1 plus 2 Hey, I kind of got a calculator going on. 3 plus 354. 357. So the first thing that we need to learn with programming is you need to learn what a variable is. Now, it's a big word, but a variable basically means we're creating a container that's going to store a value for later on. So remember in algebra when you'd say like x equals 1, so what's x plus 1? Well, that's 2. Well, if x equals 2, what's x plus 1? Well, that's 3. Basically, a variable is that. We're giving a, a, a number a name. And how you do that in JavaScript is you use the letters VAR for variable. So I could say var x equals 1. So now every time I type x, it's going to say, well, that's 1. So x plus 2, well, that equals 3. Because that's, as far as JavaScript is concerned, there's no difference between saying x plus 2 and saying 1 plus 2, because we said x equals 1. So I could go var x equals 1, var y equals 2, and I could say x plus y, and that equals 3. So now it probably feels like you're in your math class, and for those of you guys who hated math, you're like, no, this is going to be terrible. I promise, this is not about math. So maybe a better example is let's say var name equals will. And you can use single or double quotes for this, but if you're going to use letters, you have to use quotes. Like I said, you can use double quotes if you want. So now whenever I say name, it's going to spit out will. So now I can do alert, and then I can open up, and I can say name, and I can close out my parentheses, and I hit enter, and it's going to say will. So I could also say alert, and I could just do some quotes right now. Hi, Will. And then hit enter. So it says, hi, Will. Alert's kind of a cool function that does this little alert window. This will work in pretty much any browser. So that's kind of what a variable is. Now, there's some types of variables. Types, that's a very important word to remember. Uh, JavaScript has about seven types to it. Um, and most most every computer language has a lot of the same types. At the very beginning, you'll notice that you remember I did a number. Var x equals 3. That's a number type, so I can do math with that. I can do x plus 3, and it's going to know that this is the actual number 3. Now, if I do that with quotes equals 3, 0, then that does not know that it's the number 30 anymore. I actually... Whenever you use quotes, it becomes a string type. And string means that all these different digits are strung together. So it just knows that this is the number 3 followed by the number 0. It doesn't know that it's the number 30. So if I say x plus 10, well now it's just 3010. JavaScript is smart enough to not give you an error. It's just going to say, yeah, 
you just added a number in a string. Let's just lump it together into one big string. So if I say var y equals 30 without quotes, now y is the number 30. So y plus 10 is gonna be 40. So that's your string type and that's your number type. I'm gonna teach you one more command and you're free to create a basic program for yourself. That command is prompt. I do prompt, I open and close my parentheses and hit enter and that's going to open up this window here. So now I can say will and it's going to return will. So I could go, that really didn't do anything yet, so I'll have to go var name equals prompt, and then I can go will, and so now, if I ever say name, name is stored as will. So I could go var name equals prompt, and now if I hit a semicolon, I can add a second command, alert name. So there we go, I'm gonna go will, it's gonna say okay, and then it alerted will. Awesome, so let me go one more thing, let's make this a little bit more. Ver name equals prompt, ver last name equals prompt, alert name plus, let me do a comma, plus last name. There we go, so let's go will, stern, and then it's gonna say will comma stern. All right, probably would have made more sense to do a space. Uh, except for that prompt isn't helping me out because it's not telling me what to do. It just gives me this little thing. So you can actually enter a prompt message in here. What's your first name? There we go. And now it asks me, what is your first name? I'm gonna say my first name is Will. So let's fix this little program I've written here. Ver name equals what? What is your first name? And I'm getting quite a long line here, but that's okay. What is your last name? And you see it looped around here. And then I'm actually gonna turn that into a space. So it looped around, but what is your first name? Will. What is your last name? Will Stern. So there you go, and now you can write your first basic JavaScript computer program, uh, and if you were to do some homework before going on to the next lesson, I'd say create a prompt and alert based program that asks for some user information and then spits out a combination of that information, just like I did here. I alerted a name plus a last name, or maybe make an addition program where you say, you know, give me one number give me another number and say the sum of those two numbers is blah blah blah. That's your first homework assignment and let's get into the next lesson.